Okay, the remote app I use on my Android phone to remote my Windows 10 desktop PC that is always connected to my HD TV is called Unified Remote and it looks like this. The Unified Remote can be used for a lot of different kinds of stuff. You can install remotes in the remote app. As you can see here I have remotes for Kodi for example, Plex and so on. But uh, the app, the remote add-on I use the most in Unified Remote is called Basic Input because that add-on makes it possible to use a, a touchpad so I can use a mouse on my HD TV, my Windows 10 PC connected to the HD TV and I can also use a keyboard as you can see here. So I can use both a keyboard and both a mouse on my Windows 10 desktop PC. And other remotes like for example the Kodi D-pad makes it possible to use Kodi in a really nice way. You have also the Kodi keyboard here. So that's pretty nifty. And for example Plex looks like these. So these different kinds of remotes is pretty nifty to have. And here we have the settings and different remotes. And if I add to and I click on add a new remote, I can choose between these kinds of different remote add-ons. Here you can see different remotes that you can install. You have one for Netflix here for example. That's pretty nifty. Another really cool add-on is the file manager. That actually makes it possible for you to go into your computer's files. That's pretty awesome really. So I like that a lot. So that add-on, the file manager, is awesome. But uh, you see how it, easy it is to install different remotes. We have the preferences and different servers and so on. You can have um, different uh, kinds of stuff to you can connect, uh, for example, with Bluetooth or Wi-Fi and different other kinds of ways to connect your remote. You have to install a, a, a server client on your computer for this remote to work. So when you have installed that on your PC that is connected to your TV, you can connect to that by using this remote app. Pretty nifty. Okay, bye.